Alright guys, and welcome back to Chrono Trigger. Now, there's something I actually wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about the very first time I've ever played this game. And the first time I've actually, like, extensively played it. Because the first time I played this was about two years ago. I think it was it was two or three years ago. Now it's actually using my, uh, the family computer, if you will, to play this on actually this version. But that wasn't the first time. The very first time I played this, it was when my cousin and my cousin's, well, then boyfriend, were actually together. And he let me borrow Final Fantasy IV, which I played the first time. And I also played this, which I played for the first time. But I only got to, um, after Marl becomes in that, uh, like, right after the fair, you know, right before you get to this area's, uh, town. That's only as far as I got. And then I played all the way up to about halfway through the game, a couple years later. And, and then, actually, right after that, because I, I don't know why I stopped playing the game. I just, like, stopped playing for a couple days, and then it just took me a couple years to get back to it. But, you know, that's the way things go sometimes. Well, anyways, it was a, like two years ago, I think, when my family and I were gonna go to, we were going to California, actually, for our vacation. And again, since I live in Arizona, it's only about a five hour drive. So while I was waiting for the five hours, I actually started playing this game on the DS. And because, I mean, I have like a cartridge that plays DS games and whatnot, so I had the, uh, this game on there. And I started playing it and I just, I got so engrossed. I was having so much fun and I could not put it down. And I just, uh, I tell ya. That, so really this game, whenever I play this game or whenever I think of California, I think of, you know, these two. And it, I mean, this feels like a very Californian game to me now because, you know, here and there I'd play this game all, you know, lounging around, you know, in California and whatnot. I mean, I, obviously, I went to the beach, and I, you know, went to Water, well, not Water World, but whatever it's called, Sea World, and all that good stuff, but I, I still play this game, and, oh, man, I tell you, it is fun. And it was actually there that I actually beat the game, too. So, yeah, if, the thing is, though, I haven't really played this game since, because, to be fair, as much as I love this game, and this game is really good, I have to be in the mood to play it. Like, really in the mood to play it. And it's just now that I actually got in that mood. Which is a good thing, because I'm like, again, I really want to play this, and I can't put this down. What the- But the problem is, I kind of have to, and my throat's kind of hurting, too. <laughs> so, oh, hello. Whoa, Chancellor? How'd you get in here? How did you get in here? Frog! Majesty, stand back and allow us the honor. Be careful. Wait, so the Chancellor's evil? Yeah, haha. <laughs> it's useless to fight. No one will leave here alive. Stupid frog. It's time he jumped off this mortal coil. True form. Change! Oh, crap. And here we are. Here we are with another boss battle. Unless this is our first one. I think this is actually our first boss battle. So I'd like to use... Yeah, X-Strike is going to be very useful here. Clearly. Basically for boss ba- oh crap. Yeah, basically for boss battles, it's very important to use everything you have. Such as that, which would do 40 damage. Not too bad. Ow. There we go. X-Strike on him again, because it does a lot of damage. Hmm. Yeah, let's do Flame Whirl. Let's see how much damage that does, actually. Might actually do more. Nah, X-Strike is better to go with. 
Gotta hate that attack, man. I mean, it's not too, too much damage, but it can be devastating. Oh, crap. No! There we go. X strike. There we go. We're actually doing not too bad right now. Except Eric's about to die, so I'd like to fix that if possible. Might as well just use a tonic. Yeah, use tonic now. There we go. Use X strike again. Yeah, Luca's pretty good with using items and all that. Well, kind of. She just doesn't really have a. Ugh. Stop that, man. Here, let's, uh, actually, yeah, oh, it's him? Okay, let's use x strike there. Flame Toss. Thing is, Luca isn't very quick. That's the problem. So, you could actually give her the bandana. Which actually isn't that bad of an idea. I, I kind of wish I thought about that, but, oh well, that's okay. 50 experience points, 5 technique points, and 600 gold. Not too shabby if I don't say so myself. Ah, <sighs> you're welcome. Oh yeah, for our first boss battle, it's not too bad, but it can be difficult if if you don't really know what you're doing. I thank the Eric and Luca. Yes, thank you so much. Please join us. But first, we're gonna collect these, which is the the real Chancellor. Which I, I suppose you kind of be nice to have him there. And if we get here, we get a mid ether. Not too bad. I believe that goes 20? Let's check. No, 30. Huh. Even better. And thankfully they're nice and we don't have to walk all the way back by ourselves. Ugh, it's annoying, man. That no good Yaka impersonating me and kidnapping the queen. We must create a criminal justice system in this kingdom to do away with such fiends. Oh my god. Frog's theme is the best song in this game, hands down. I failed to protect Queen Lean. I have to disgrace thee. What? What? Frog! Oh. Oh man. Yeah, as quickly as he goes into your team, as quickly as he's gone. Now, this is why I actually changed out the sight scope so I can actually have it. Unless he actually drops it. I'm not. Maybe. No, he doesn't actually. No, he kept the sight scope. Or he kept the, the power glove. So, yeah, that's why I switched it out. Because I want this more than I want the power glove. Maybe that's wrong for me to say, but whatever. <laughs> And apparently I can actually use a joystick on my controller. I probably won't, but, you know, whatever. And she comes back in her normal clothing instead of the queen clothing. Interesting. Princess Nadia! Eric! Well, hello! It was awful. I can't recall at all. I was somewhere cold, dark, and lonely. Is that what it's like to die? Ugh. Don't say that. Welcome, Mayak. You risked your life to help me, too? Princess Nadia. Uh-oh. <laughs> I guess you guys figured it out, huh? Sorry, Eric. I didn't mean to deceive you. Yeah, it's okay. I don't mind. So long as you love me first. I'm Princess Nadia. My father's King Gaudia the 23rd. I had to think about that for a moment. I really enjoyed being with you at the fair, but if you had known my identity... Eric, you wouldn't have shown me around the fair, right? Uh, wait. Wrong. Oh, Eric, that's why I like you. I don't want to pick the wrong one, because I want to... I want her to be happy. Real queen's safe, right? So let's go home. Yeah, let's go home, and the problem is we don't know how. We don't know how to go home. We're stuck here until we figure that out. But, you know, whatever. I guess we'll be stuck here forever. It won't be too, too bad, I guess. I think 
goodness, you're safe. You may resemble Lean, but you sure don't act like her. Let me know how I can repay you. Um, give me a bunch of gold. Then you can repay me. Oh, hi, frog. 'Twas a fault of mine, which endangered the queen. I shall depart for good. Eek! Indeed, your resemblance to the queen is uncanny. Eric, you have potential to be a good swordsman. Well, thank you. I'm better than you. No, I'm just joking. Hmm. Froggy, you weren't such a bad guy either. Aww. Pardon me? Yeah, there is a little bit more to explore here. I don't know if we'll be getting any new items, though. It is possible. Well, hello. Who are you? You are a person. So, the cathedral was at the heart of it all. That frog's done a fine job. But since Megas' troops failed to kidnap Lean, they'll probably be back soon. If only Cyrus were here. Hey now, Cyrus is trying to take over the world in Pokemon Land, man. U Unova? I think it's Unova even region. I don't remember. I get so much hate if people like figure that out. Just figure out that I know nothing to Pokemon. Hello. Ice cream. Hair cream. One ether. Yay. That was slightly useful. I don't really use that kind of items too much. I probably will in the future, obviously, but for right now, you don't really need to. Unfortunately, we do have to go through all of this. Unless there's something over here. I think there is something over here. Oh, okay, what is that? But we don't really need that right now. Because there's nothing we can do with it right now. Yeah, and, okay, I need to actually, uh, help Luca out, because she's vastly underleveled, comparatively to the other characters, so. I need to change that. So I think I'm actually going to stop my, uh, recording session here. Ooh, I learned Slash, and Luca learns Hypnowave. Nice. Let's check those out. Slash attack. Cool. Puts enemies to sleep. Again, not too useful in my opinion, but whatever. And yeah, Marl actually has a healing too. Although hers is a lot more useful because she has a, a lot more magic. At least more uh, magic attack, I guess. I guess that's what you can call it. Yeah, I'm going to stop the video though quite soon. There's something I'd like to do first. Hopefully we can actually go through there. Through the... Hold on. Okay, yeah. So I guess we can go through the cathedral again. Because that's a great place to grind. And I'd like to do that, if possible. Now that we have, again, over 5,000 gold. Let's see here. Wait, did I sell that? I don't... No. No, no, we, we didn't sell it, actually. So we can give that to her, and then we can... Buy one of these. And I guess that's about it for now. Go to Ida. Or no, not items. Ha! Huh. Here, Marl. So it's 17 to 22 and then 22 to 27. So it went up by 15. Yeah, that, that, that's going to be pretty useful. Can we buy any weapons for her? Or no? It looks like no. We could in the other area, but oh well. Hmm, that treasure chest. Can we get that? And can we get the one up there, too? I don't think so. Unless we can actually, like... Go behind here. If possible, no? Alright, I don't think there's anything in there. But if you can, you know, please let me know. Because that would be pretty cool. But... I do don't believe that will be it. Not much else we can really do now, so in the next episode, I'm going to be grinding, or at the beginning of the next episode, I've grinded some, I've gotten a bunch of shelters from that, uh, secret shelter place, and, yeah. So, until next time, guys, I'll be seeing you all later. I hope you enjoyed.
And yeah, let's keep things going.